All right, um, so here's how to flow portraits. This is, of course, the page you'll see uh, after logging in. You're gonna go to Portraits and Index. And patiently wait for everything to pull up. And then you're gonna flow portraits. Okay, great. So we're gonna be creating from scratch here. Um, gonna let you guys do this. Now, um, all of this is, all the information uh, that you need is going to be in the handbook here. Okay, so if you forget any of this, just check your handbooks. But it's easiest to go through um, kindergarten. So I'm gonna work on Miss McPherson. And we use the right-hand side of the spread for, uh, por for portraits. And I'm gonna check my, uh, check my handbook here. And it tells me that I need to have it five by five rows versus columns. So I go over here and I switch the um, switch that, and that's going to be all I need to do for now. And then the next step has a few more parameters for me to fix. Okay, so you see it starts out. It's got the the names here on the side. Don't want that, so I switch to names below portrait. Do not want a second line either. First, last name, that's correct. Optimize our font, eight point is correct. That's also good. Uh, rows, columns, let's just double check that. Okay, rows, columns, well, you'll notice I got a lot more fields here than are available to me, so what do I do? Well, that's because it's in automatic and I don't want that, I want it to be manual. All right, now that's looking more familiar. So let's look, uh, portrait has 94 width and 122 height, is that correct? No, it's not. We need 93 and 116, so let's do that. I'm going to go into this field and enter 93 into the height field, enter 116. Okay, you noticed it changed over there as we did it. Uh, what about the margins? Is 36 correct? I'm going to check. Yep, 36 is correct. I can also, while I'm here, look at the spacing. I want six rows, three columns, so I'll go over and change that. And I'm almost done, except um, you'll notice that the whole page here is going to be covered in um, portraits and the program will start loading portraits here at the top left. But I don't want that because that's actually where the teacher's portrait would go. So I just click those so they become a lighter shade of the same color, which some of you can probably identify. Um, I guess I would say blue, but maybe purple. I don't know. Um, anyway, so after that, I'm really done. This is It's ready to go. Um, I've got all my settings correct, and so I just flow the portraits, okay? Ta -da, it's ready. Now, immediately you wanna to go to the page and finish this off and make sure everything is correct. So open the page to which you just flowed all these portraits, and there's several uh, steps we're gonna to need to take before we're really done with a portrait phase. You guys think this is long you just have no idea i mean second year i did this we you know we were sitting like that for easily minutes at a time every time we want to switch okay um first thing well someone's already done a great job here of getting some things set up the teacher portrait has already been inserted now if you uh, are uncertain as to what to do there you'll see there is a a special section here in the handbook for making room for a teacher portrait you do something different when you're making room for an upper school heading, okay? Uh, just follow those directions. They're pretty straightforward. Um, so I'll just go over here, and I'm, I've, I've actually already uploaded the uh, faculty and staff photos. So I'm going to look through here until I find Miss Nick Person. She's over here somewhere now. Where is Miss McPherson? Worried I'm missing her. Let's see. Yep, oh, yep, oh, here. All I gotta do, drag and drop into her spot. Okay. Her name should be slightly bigger. Again, check the uh, check the uh, here we go. Check this. It'll tell you heading standards. Okay. Um, it'll explain all of that here. Okay. You want um, teacher caption name is ten points. Okay. So a little bigger than the kids. Now, while you're here, go ahead and check names, okay? Check names. So let's zoom it in, get it nice and big so I can see everything clearly. Go to the hand, which helps you 
move around. I'm looking for names with like a Mick. Okay, any Mick names? Uh, any obvious errors like uh, Joe, Joe, Joseph Dunbar? Okay, maybe that's his name. I doubt it, so I'm gonna change it. Uh, the you know Miss McPherson is going to see this before it all finishes. It maybe his name is Jojo, but we're gonna leave it at Joseph for now. She can fix it later. Um, any other obvious errors here? None. It looks like it's pretty solid. All right. Now, one problem you might run into, okay, is let's say you you flowed this portrait and you just had Charlotte Moore here at the end, and there, she's the only one on a row. That's called an orphaned picture, and you don't want to leave it like that. It just looks odd visually. So if that's the case, um, it's just a simple matter of you know reconfiguring all these things, all these pictures, so you can drop um, one down. So um, that can all be done pretty quickly, actually. So I'm just going to give you an example. So imagine I wanted you know to put J uh, Benjamin down here, one row down below. Okay. So we're just kind of imagining. I'll just do this for. For the sake of you know, I'm just gonna, so imagine this was my setup, okay? Um, and I've got to move her over exactly one width, you know, one picture width, and I've got to move him down in, in the same exact space she's is. So the key is to learn to use all of your, you know, your tools to make that happen uh, as efficiently and easily as possible. First thing to do is just unite the the name, the caption, and the uh, picture okay and you do that under the object menu in group okay and we're going to do that for both of these you may have noticed that command g does does it just as well as the drop down menu then i pick a photograph that's in the exact right spot okay use that as my anchor go over here to my layout features okay um yeah layout features and i'm going to align this bottom photo to this top photo along the center which will get it in exactly the right spot. And if I do this, it's not going to move it up and down, only left and right. So boom, now it's in the right spot, okay? But I still gotta get Benjamin down here under Kinsley. Okay, so not too hard. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna align him vertically with Charlotte. So I'm gonna use this button over here, align center vertically, boom, boop. And then, now why did that happen? I'll tell you why it happened. Uh, because I picked the wrong anchor. Okay, she's the anchor. So the first one you click is always going to be anchor. It's going to pull the photo in that direction. And then I want Benjamin to be anchored to Kinsley horizontally. Boop. And we're done. Okay, we'd be ready to go. Now, obviously, uh, that's not what I want <laughs> for this page because I just deleted a bunch. But supposing that problem hits, you can see now we've got a nicer little stair step kind of pattern without having one kid all by themselves. Last thing to say is this, I'd love it if these uh, titles really kind of rested right there on the line. So the, the letters themselves resting on that uh, purple bluish line, okay? Whichever it is, I don't know. Um, while I'm here, I'll say this, uh, you know, this is nice, someone set this up already, so you've got some options here, but don't feel obligated to this, okay? Uh, if you get a really, you get a ton of great pictures, we want to get as many of these kids on the page as we can, so we're not obligated to getting everybody on the page, but man, the more you can do, the happier everyone is. So, uh, you know, this is a good start, but you know, you might want to divide this top row up into three separate pictures. You might want to go four pictures high even at some point, I don't know. Um, it's nice to have this big one though because almost always you're going to have one big group photo at a field trip or something and that ensures that everyone uh, gets in there at least once. Alright, so that's how we flow portraits.